Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. Hi, my name is Norman Meir and I'm an IPC Master Instructor. And today we have another IPC Master Instructor. This is Tammy Grefkowitz. So welcome to our video shoot today. And today's video shoot is going to be on ESD protection at the workstation. So let's get started, shall we? First off, let's work from the floor up. Okay, there are several different types of flooring that you can purchase that is ESD safe. One is floor tile, another is a wax, another item is an epoxy, and the last thing is a carpet that you can put down that is ESD safe also. And then you can use these nice ESD chairs. They are a little bit expensive, but they are well worth it. And how do you know they're ESD safe? You will see the ESD symbol on them somewhere. And let's pan on up on this thing a little bit and it is all connected even the backrest itself is connected you can actually see a cable right there so everything is going all the way down to ground which is our floor itself now let's pan over here and let's see her feet itself you can see she has a shoe on they do make an ESD safe shoe but also you can wear heel straps if you don't want that but remember, on the heel strap, you've got a little cord that's got to go inside the shoe. It doesn't have to go directly against the skin. It can go up underneath your sock. Your, your feet are going to create moisture, which is going to create a conductive path to this strap. And you can see hers as she is sitting. She does have it up in the air a little bit. And a lot of people sit like this. So one thing that you've got to learn to do is wear a wrist strap. And you can see Tammy has a wrist strap right there. And uh, in accordance with ANSI ESD 2020-2007, it says when you're sitting, you shall wear a wrist strap. And one thing you want to do is test these daily along with the heel strap. And one thing was when you're testing this, you should shake your wrist around to make sure that you have connection. Because you can have dry skin or these wrist straps could get old and be loose and intermittent. So you want to make sure that they are nice and snug and make that conductive path. Okay. She also has a ESD safe smock on, which is made up of 65% polyester, 34% cotton, and 1% conductive nylon. And that's why you see like a little checkerboard pattern on these little uniforms here. And see it right there? You can see it on her uh, arm there. So let's back this out. So now she is ESD safe, okay? Now that she is ESD safe, she can actually grab her circuit board and you can see the ESD symbol right there on the packaging, right there. And then when she flips it over to make sure it's sealed, we do have a sticker on the back that tells us that it's also ESD safe, okay? So now she is ready to go to work. And what she'll do is tear that open at her ESD dissipative work surface there is what you see underneath it. And she's got her wrist strap on, heel strap on. And you can see a lot of different style components. And as technology progresses, the parts are going to get smaller and smaller. And they're going to become more and more ESD sensitive. So what we just showed you in this short little take to wear and to utilize during a nice rework process is what you should do. So thank you and have a nice day.